Hey guys and welcome to this another new video and in this video we will bring you build number 6.5 for the resurrection ROM of Zenfone 5. Now the ROM has been pretty stable over the few updates and there has been no significant changes in this build okay. So if you were on build 6.4 it's better that you do not install the whole ROM it's not required. You can just download the kernel from the source and just flash the kernel. So it is a boot image file. So all you need to do is use the fastboot command fastboot flash boot and then the file name dot img and hit enter. And that will practically update you to build 6.5 since nothing has changed. Now there are some things that I did notice and uh, something that doesn't work and some things that work. Okay, so the first thing that is that this is also build 6.4 that I am on with the 6.5 kernel. But even on the build 6.5 and on 6.4, the second SIM card of my phone did not work. But that's specifically because I guess a fault with my own device since no one else reported it. It must be specifically because of my hardware error of my own device. And it might work for you. So this is a theme and if you like this theme, the link for that will be down in the description below. And you can head over and download it. So. As, you, as I have said before that this has been updated to Android version 5.1.1 underscore R24. So what the R24 means is that it contains all the latest security patches from Android and including all the stage fright and all the new bugs and errors that have been found, all the vulnerabilities that is fixed. So the team has updated the Android version to that and it's very useful. The next thing that you might have seen in the change logs is that if you go to theme, chooser you do not have the pitch black theme anymore that's because uh, they have replaced it with the trts so that's a new type of thing where you get pitch black theme everything turns black there are no shades of red when you keep the trds on it just gets black so the good thing about it is that you can switch the theme automatically say you know if you are at night and bed and it would automatically switch into the dark mode theme where it will not be hurtful to your eyes. Now if I go back to the theme chooser, this is the Euphoria dark theme that I'm using right now. And once again, the link will be down in the description below for that theme. There are no other significant changes in this ROM whatsoever, except of course, if you go back to display, you have the double tap to wake and double tap to sleep function back. Now, if you're having any kinds of screen freezes or if you are having a battery lag, you might want to flash some older kernel from build 6.2 where it did not have double tap to wake and it might just fix the, the freezing issues. But if you're having a freeze just after a call, you might want to just update to the build 6.5 kernel because that fixes it. The next error that I have been getting all over the time in the comment section is that your phone freezes when you are using share it apps like Zender and stuff like that. So I have personally used Zender and not share it and I found that there has been no freezes at all whatsoever. So if you are facing freezes on, on the Zender app, on the share it app, please move over to Zender. It does the same thing and it doesn't freeze out the phone at all. There are no significant improvements to talk about here. Basically, it's basically the same from 6.2 with some internal fixes and upgradation to the Android. The GPS is still stutters and doesn't work for most of the time. Okay, so if GPS is important to you, you might want to stick to the stock ROM. Also, the vibration stutters once or a while, but it does work. As for the SIM card and the calling errors, all of them are gone. So if someone calls you or if you call someone, the phone will vibrate, will the ringtone. And of course, you can, both parties will be able to hear each other. Of course, I could not test out the second SIM because it did not work for me at all. But that might be specifically because of my device and not for the ROM. So that's pretty much it from this video. And there is some ASUS apps that you can see has come pre-installed which was also present in build 6.2 namely the browser the backup app the camera a pixel master camera app of course and the gallery applications now if you don't know how to remove this apps uh, there is another link for in the description for another video which shows you how to remove the system applications so if you do not need the asus apps you can very well remove them since the rom comes pre-rooted you only need to install the super su app directly from the play store and that will pretty much be it.
so thank you guys for watching this video and we'll of course keep updating you with all the new builds that i might be coming out in the future so for right now if you are on build 6.4 just download the kernel and update and flash the kernel and you'll be pretty much updated to build 6.5 i'll see you guys in the next one